It is time for another head-to-head -head battle. Still in round one, we are now up to battle number four. In this battle, we are going to be pitting Matcha Hoju from Rishi T up against Blend 99 from Breakaway Matcha. You know all of the brewing techniques, so let's just get to it. I'll brew these up and we'll get back here for the uh, smell and taste. See you soon. Okay, we have our matcha all burned up, and now it's time to give them a smell and a taste. Let's start with the Blend 99. This has a very complex uh, aroma. Getting a little bit of that cinnamon that I picked up before in a couple. Maybe a little bit of the, the twiggy woodness. Clean, fresh, the green pea sweetness. Lots of different layers. All right, let's try the hoju. Oh, okay. This one has a more pronounced cinnamony yellow tea smell going on. Whereas this one had it, it was kind of as part of more complex bouquet. This is just kind of like a straight up yellow tea kind of smell, which I really like. Give it a taste. Salut. Yeah, lots of lots of stuff going on in this one. There's some of that bitterness, but it kind of pops its head up and then runs away, and then it kind of comes back as a little bit of aftertaste lingering, and then kind of slowly transforms back into that green tea sweetness. Yeah, just like the aroma, there's a very complex, nothing bad, even that bitterness is, uh, it's not super strong, it's not super prevalent, it's there, and it reminds you it's there, but it's playing a supporting role, it's not the dominant flavor note. Or the hoju. It's more green tea on the taste than the yellow tea, whereas the the aroma was more reminiscent of yellow tea. Still very good. The bitterness between Blend 99 and the Hoju are about the same, I would say. Maybe a little bit stronger bitterness in the Hoju. More astringency as well. Yeah, practically no astringency at all in the Blend 99, but there's definitely a pronounced. Not super strong, but you definitely notice some astringency. Yeah, the more I go back and forth between the two, the, the clearer the victory for Blend 99 is. So Blend 99, gonna be moving into round two of Matcha Madness, which means that I now get to tell you a little bit more about the Matcha Hoju from Rishi Tea. First off, the packaging on this one, you may remember from the very first battle, uh, the Rishi Tea had that black glass container. This one, it's a tin, and it's got the secondary oxygen seal, which is nice, but I prefer the black glass containers over this one, and this is their most premium tea that is offered by Rishi. So I'm kind of surprised that it's not in what I would consider the premium container, right? This is a 30 gram container. This clocked in at $75, which brings our price per gram to 250. Certainly a very premium tea. All we have here for origin is somewhere in Kyoto. No season or cultivar information. From the Rishi Tea website, this is what we have for uh, description and tasting notes. Our highest grade of ceremonial matcha, this rare matcha is of a class traditionally reserved for the most exclusive of tea ceremonies. It has an unbelievable aroma, flavor, and energizing focusing effect unlike any other matcha. Matcha hoju may be prepared as usu cha or koi cha. Hoju, literally precious longevity or precious eternity, is the konomi or treasured matcha of our producer and partner, Iki Suien. Matcha hoju contains a rush of umami flavor backed by a deep sweetness that lingers endlessly on the palate. Its rich, creamy foam creates a smooth, full mouthfeel. A bowl of matcha hoju bestows tremendous energy that inspires and uplifts the drinker into a meditative state of alertness. And it's certainly a very good matcha, but in this particular head-to-head, -head, Blend 99 comes out the winner. So unfortunately, Despite being a very high grade, just wasn't enough to make it into the next round. Speaking of which, our bracket now looks a little something like this. And I will see you for the next battle. Until then.